Hello, my name is Mike, and behind us we have a good example of a river birch that has two broken branches on it. And one thing we can always notice, notice on it is that there is two branches at the point where it breaks. And we can there will be two other trees when we take a look at that also have the same thing. And what that is an example of is something called a co-dominant lead, where there's two leaders on the tree, and they have both equal amount of wood on each side, so that when the branches come together, they never fuse together because they're always competing with one another to become dominant. So what happens is as the branch develops, it gets longer and longer, and at the point where the two branches meet, they never intertwine, and they never make a, a real nice coming together or a union there. So when you get a lot of ice, what happens is the ice can actually pull apart at the, the, where the branches come together. And since they're not intertwined, there's nothing holding them together, so they eventually just crack. And once they start to crack, there's not much you can really do to stop the cracking. And that's called a? That's called a co-dominant lead. That is, is, that's what it is, and that's just a weak branching. A weak branching right there on that tree. And in this neighborhood, there are three houses in close proximity, all with river birches that have the same type of problem. So we, that's why we have you here today, Michael, to show people about these problems that these trees may have. That one's also the same. Notice that the, there's always two branching coming together, and the branches are about the same size. And we have another tree over here. Okay, tell us about this particular one. Well, there's two branches there. There's one that's facing towards the house. There's one on the ground. I don't think you can see. There's the two branches together. And if I, from one eye looking at it, they look about the same size. And that's what I think would happen to them. Is that they were co-dominant leaves. And the co-dominant leaves were not a very good branch structure. And then the ice storm that we had had too much weight on the branch and it just pushes them apart. And you grow these river birch trees? Yes, we do. And are they, generally speaking, a decent tree for neighborhoods? Yes, they are, generally speaking, is a decent tree. And when we grow them, we try to grow three trees into one, so that you have three separate trees growing up, to try to avoid, when it gets older, having too many branches at the top. Were these quality trees to start with, you think? Yeah, I think they were pretty nice looking trees. I can't it's too old and you have to take a really good close look at it, but from what I can see, it looks like a really good tree. Yeah, it looks like a tree was good. It was just probably improper pruning and, well, or no? No, well, it's a lack of pruning. People, they planted them and they were never pruned before, or if they were pruned, they were top. The more, the more, it's called subordination pruning. We take two branching, they're equal size, they're predominant. They make one dominant, the other one recessive, so that the bark goes around each tree and they intertwines. That's where you get a stronger branch. Okay, and if people have a problem with their trees or a question, give Michael a call at 215-651-8329 at Highland Hill Farm. Thank you, Mike. At Highland Hill Farm, we have a lot of different kinds of trees for you. We have both deciduous and evergreen. Some of the spruces that we have are like Colorado Bruce spruce, Norway spruce, white spruce, Serbian, Black Hill spruce, black spruce, we also have some firs, such as Fraser, Balsam, Douglas, and Concolor. Most of these are in seedling or transplants. We do have larger trees, such as white pine, Norway spruce. We also sell a whole range of arborvitas in many different sizes, from transplants up to large trees. The trees that we sell are both bare root and bald and burlap and potted. We have thousands of them that we grow. We also have southwestern white pine, and we are noted for our green giant arborvitas and Leland cypresses. We also have hemlocks up to 10 to 12 foot high, along with redwoods. We can also supply you with some bald cypress, larch, eastern red cedar. In the way of shrubs, we have arrowwood viburnums, bayberry, black hall viburnums, a whole range of viburnums, dogwoods, red, twig, silky dogwoods, elderberries. We also have forsythia, common lilacs, Japanese lilacs, peking lilacs. We also have 
banana berry, nine bark, and things such as Russian olive, which some people think are is invasive. But we do sell a wide re range of trees and shrubs, including winterberry holly. So give us a call at 215-651-8329 as we do deliver and we deliver and plant.